In this tutorial, for advanced beginning Blender users, I'll kind of run you through the setup of this scene, but uh, for the most part you should be familiar with all of my 2.63a Blender tutorials as that will give you that will get you grounded in the basics required to understand this scene. If you're an intermediate Blender user, no big deal. Let's see. Um, so what we have in here is just have the animation running with Alt A. And if you look closely, there's not really a whole lot going on in the scene except there is this these trees are moving slightly in the wind. A lot of it's just an illusion and the uh, bell is swinging in the wind but the important aspect of this is mixing elements from two different versions of Blender and I'll show you what I mean. I'll stop this animation for the moment and you notice I'm in Blender render mode and the reason I'm in Blender render is because I need to be there in order to have access to soft body effects because that's what the trees are, they're soft bodies. Let's see if I can get to this. Oh, well, I guess I need to turn this back on down here. Turn that on, put my cursor back on. Okay, so now I can access it. So the tree, notice these are separate things and if you're not familiar with that, maybe I'll do a separate lesson, but I'll give you a, a point you to the trees real quick. Um, if you come up here to File, User Preferences, and you go over to the Add-ons, See in here, I'll put this in here, add-ons. And then somewhere in here is that the sapling. You have to add the sapling uh, for being able to build a tree. And then you can build trees, and that's exactly what I did. I added that, and I, I built the tree. But then after I built it, I separated out the leaves as their own separate object. And then I was able to add a soft body effect to those. So if you notice over here in the soft body physics, they're set to have soft bodies and just as a whole unit. And then down here, I have the goal set and I have a leaf group, it should be leaves group set. And if you recall from some of my other lessons, then up here we'll just review, we're re reviewing. Then in here I have a vertex group set for the leaves. In fact, if I go into edit mode, you can see the weight is set to 0.25 for these leaves. And actually, I set the weight a little bit differently for the outer leaves versus the inner leaves, hoping these would move a little bit more in the other, because I don't want it to go too far. Boy, this thing is really moving slow. Did I stop this? I swear I did. <laughs> that is the strangest thing. Usually it doesn't move so slow. I should be able to zoom right in, and it's not even zooming in. Huh. Okay, well, I guess that's going to... What did I do? Uh, maybe I'm in camera... Okay, there we go. I was in camera view. Hmm. No, and I still can't zoom in. What the... I do. Well, anyway, we'll continue with the lesson anyway. So, uh, over here, I have my physics effect, the wind blowing, and that's just blowing the trees on the leaves. It's not blowing the bell whatsoever. The bell is... Uh, by itself is a uh, based on a rigid body joint and th this is uh, you have to set that in the game engine and you'll notice down here on the timeline that I'll look at it from a couple po points of view first on the timeline these are all individual frame keyframes that have been set by the game engine that now I'm looking in here I didn't manually set these by hand and if we op open up the uh, where is this guy? Open up the graph editor. You can see they're all set in here as well. It's just a huge mass of keyframes set for each frame to be able to generate that effect so it can work in conjunction with the soft body physics. Because if I was to, let me get rid of this now. Let me see if I can get rid of that guy. Can't see the edge of it. I'll just move him down out of the way. Because if you can see, I'll look up close. If I press Alt A, you can see the leaves. They're kind of just bouncing off. They're not really, you know, <laughs> it's kind of different. However, if I stop that and I move over into the game engine and I press Alt A, well, actually that works there, but if it, it doesn't work if you press P. P in the game engine is how you start the game engine. And the only thing that's working in the game engine is, well, the bell was ringing there just for a second. You had to see it right at the outset. Let's see. P. I guess they didn't offset him enough. So 
well when you when you start you have to see my uh tutorial on the ferris wheel and i show you exactly how to set these up here so you can generate the animation but what you need to do is once you've set it into the scene and you have this animation running within the game engine before you actually run it you have to come up here to game and you have to set record animation so then when you press p it records th this animation and then when you go back into blender render it, rec it provides you the keyframes here and then when you press alt a alt a allows you to see the effects within blender render which is the soft body now and then this is the effect generated from within the game engine. It just generates the keyframes and brings it over here. So it's kind of a little disjointed, but it works. You have to kind of, you know, you have to do things in the game engine that you want to use, and they kind of have to match them to the frames that you want to use within Blender Render. So it's a little tricky. It's not ideal, but it doesn't matter because Blender's too cool, and you can do a lot of fun stuff with it anyway. All right, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight as to how to work with the system because uh, Blender is super, super powerful. You just have to figure out how to use it. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.